that, and, you know, as I said earlier in the video, I'm kind of nervous at the same time, because, um, one of the reasons why I took so long to come out was because, um, <coughs> I've never really, uh, solely identified as, <coughs> as one thing. <coughs> um... I don't like boxes, and, <coughs> like, I actually, I hate boxes. Putting myself in a box drives me nuts. <coughs> and, and it's mostly because that's what I had to do my whole life. Um, I have a very, my family's ethnic. My dad's from El Salvador, and my grandparents are, you know, from the older generation. My grandfather is from Sicily, and uh, the, we all grew up in, well, I mean, except for my dad, but, you know, my mom's side of the family, we all grew up in Brooklyn, New York. And in that specific area of Brooklyn, there's a lot of older thinking, older generation kind of, kind of thinking. Um, you know, if you're a girl, you're supposed to look like this. If you're a boy, you look like this. You know, and it's just this segregated kind of lifestyle. And I can- I- I never could get on board with that. And for the longest time, I thought there was something wrong with me. <clears throat> and I remember when I was younger, maybe 10, 11 years old, I would wear- I, you know, I had a lot of hand-me-downs from my brothers and my boy cousins and, you know, and, you know, even, even, you know, the clothes were from the 90s, so even the girls wore, like, baggy clothes, but I remember one time I was at my grandpa's house and, um, I was eating breakfast and I overheard him talking to my mom and he asked, why is she wearing a ball cap, why... Why is she, uh, why is she wearing baggy clothes? People are gonna think that she's a lesbian. And, I mean, 10, 11 years old, I mean, I had an idea of, of what a lesbian was, but really, I had no idea. I mean, I, I had no clue. Um, <coughs> um, and I remember not too long after that, my, one of my favorite cousins, who's cool as shit, um, she took me out for some pizza and asked me, as we sat out on the bench outside the pizzeria, if I was a lesbian. Now, mind you, the only the only notion of what I I knew what a lesbian was was Madonna and Britney Spears, because I had recently seen the Video Music Awards that year. And that was like the first exposure to lesbians that I, I mean, lesbians, I've, you know, that it ever happened. And I told my cousin, I was like, no. But, I mean, I didn't really know how to answer that because, um, ever since I was very young, I've been afraid of people judging me. And, I mean, that's just a deep-rooted emotional issue, so, I mean, we're not going to go into that, but, um, I mean, she, she told me right off the bat, she was like, I don't care if you are, I was just, you know, curious, you know, for the clothes you're wearing. And, I mean, even at that age, that notion didn't make sense to me. You wear these certain types of clothes, so obviously you must be gay. Now, I wear men's clothes... But I don't identify as a lesbian, and thinking back on it now, I never did. And I knew I wasn't straight, but I tried to put myself in that box as well. And it, it didn't work out. It really didn't. Um, I just always felt so out of place, and I remember, you know, I would, I would be in different groups of people, and I just never felt like it fit in. And I mean, I wasn't, like, the, an, unpo an unpopular kid by any means, you know, I have a lot of acquaintances and a few friends, um, but, you know, everyone always had a good time with me, and, uh, and, um, 
like it just I could never connect with like my super straight femi friends because they were talking about things that I didn't feel or understand but when I was with you know guy friends everything made sense everything was great it was like you know like bro time and I mean like most of the kids that I grew up around are queer in some sort of way and they're like the greatest people in my opinion in my life on earth um you know like like how do you how do you describe how awesome they are to like strangers you know you all have those friends you know friends that you would do anything for friends that would do anything for you friends that are just so fantastic there are really no words to describe them and those are my friends um but i remember trying to fit in as a straight person that didn't work i remember trying to fit in with the lesbians it worked for a little while but it became clear to me that i wasn't specifically a lesbian or that I wasn't, you know, just strictly a lesbian. And I couldn't figure out what it was because I don't really find... I don't find uh, cisgendered men attractive. I'm very attractive to transmasculine, queer, you know, uh, queer people. Uh, really, it's... The entire spectrum of like I don't know if you know I know I know some people use the word queer to use to describe the entire community but um, for the sake of this conversation um, I use queer as like the non gender specific people and those are the people who I find the most attractive um, so, what is my sexual orientation? Fuck! I don't know. Don't put me in boxes. I think people are cool. That's it. Um, and it's, it's really the same with gender identity. Um, if you insist on putting me in a box, put me in the two-spirit box because that's what I mostly identify with and that was why I was afraid of coming out as trans because sometimes I don't always feel masculine inside in fact perfect example last week um, I felt especially effeminate and and you know, it, it was just, it was a weird sensation for me because I was just beginning to have my insides match my outsides and then, you know, Mother Nature decided to come and throw me for a loop. Fucking bitch. And, and I mean, I mean, that was it. Like, that was it, it you know, and then. Here we are, while well, making this video, I'm back to normal, you know, I'm, I'm Brody, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Um, but, but yeah, uh, um, I just, I was confused because, you know, for a while, my understanding of being trans was I had to feel masculine and look masculine to be considered masculine, to be considered a man, to be considered yada yada yada, etc, etc. Once I discovered that that wasn't the case and everyone is different, it made me feel a little better. And, I mean, I'm still, you know, I'm still even hesitant about even saying this in the video, but... Because I, I don't I don't want to offend anybody because like I said I, everyone has their own shit everyone has their own stories this is just my story and my discovery <coughs> and I mean I'm nervous I'm nervous um, 
you know, the time's going to come when I'm going to have to think about changing my name legally. The time's going to come when I'm not going to consider the surgery if I decide to go for it, which I am. Um, top surgery, not bottom surgery. And, and I mean, the whole metamorphosis, the whole transition, really, it's, it's scary, it's exciting, um, I already know that my family's against it, so I'm not even worried about that, but, um, I guess what it is is that this is a new chapter in my life and this is all brand new to me and really the only person who has been on my side consistently has been the person who runs this tumbler with me, uh, Seer, who is like legit one of the coolest dudes I've ever met in my whole life. Um, and, I mean, I just, there are really no words to describe how grateful I am to Seer, how, how awesome they are, and just, like, no, I mean, all I could really say is that, you know, throughout this whole ordeal, they've been the one who's been there for me and I mean I've I you know we look out for each other and that was the kind of relationship we sort of established and I mean it ended up working out because we had a lot of fallouts this past year um but yeah the um we decided to make this tumbler because, because, uh, well, we both have projects that we want to work on together and separate, and we've been trying to sort of, like, put it all together, um, make it work, but we, we're Aquarians. We are no good at organizing things really not at all so um um actually actually uh like getting this tumbler together and like making these videos this is a huge deal because we don't like i said we're terrible at this kind of stuff so hopefully um hopefully these things go well and, uh, uh, this video's going on 30 minutes, and, you know, I don't think many people have the attention span to sit at the computer and watch a video for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, you know, you heard it first, this is Brody, thanks for listening to what I had to say, and, you know, I'll be making more videos, so if you are interested, check out our Tumblr, um, our... Our URL is, um, is Tumblr that, uh, B-R-O-C-Y-R dot Tumblr dot com. And I'll say that again. It's B-R-O-C-Y-R dot Tumblr dot com. Uh, we just started this Tumblr last night, so there's not much on it, but we will be blogging on it very often. So check us out and, you know, like, we hope to see you guys. Alright, later.